Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villa, welcome to episode 25 of the World Tour with Spot Boys in Peru and today it's a big day because we can look to progress into the quarterfinals of the Copa Sudamericana. We go to uh, Uruguay to play Danubio, holding a 1-0 lead from last episode. Can we do it? Can we get into the last eight? It would be nice, wouldn't it? You kind of would hope that we could. We also were then going to play Universidad, this team, uh, Kajamaka. They're 11th in the league, um, so it's a game that I would hope we would win. Now, since last episode, just the one game, and what a game it was. 6-2, we beat uh, Rael uh, Galaseo, and we absolutely exploded in the second half here. It was 2-1 at halftime. Perez got a hat-trick. Liate, Fry, and uh, Jean Coure, uh, one of our youngsters, who's uh, come through the academy last season in the youth intake, did really, really well when he came on, scored a stunning goal as well. Um, so really, really good to see him get that. Of course, the concerning thing is the two, isn't it? Um, but if we keep call, uh, scoring six, we're not going to have to worry about that for too long. Now, if we have a quick look at the league table, you can see that we have gone... Oh, we were top. I tell a lie. We're now two games uh, two games in hand. We're four points off top. Um, so we're still right there. It's it's uh, not maybe as easy as we would have liked, but with the Sudamericana distracting us right now, uh, I'm more than happy with where we're positioned. If we can just push up and win this uh, win this opening stage, that again would mean that we're into the into the playoffs at the end of the year. Um, but yeah, we will not worry too much about that right now because it's all about the Sudamericana. So let's have a look at the team that we're sending out to face. Uh, the, uh, what are they called? Danubi here. Danubio. Uh, so it's Salinas in goal. It's Cosio, Diaz, Big Willie D, uh, Emerson, and Andia as a back four. Tassio is going to play the anchorman role with Liate. You can see he's getting more familiar with his deep line playmaker role, which is really good. Uh, and Martinez as well in midfield. We're sticking with the wingers. So Perez and Fry go down the wings. Vega uh, goes up top. Now Galindo is just coming back from injury, not really ready. So we'll keep Castro on the bench for this one. Now, if we remember from last episode, they were defensive, they were cautious, they're a direct team, they don't really offer anything. Uh, well, they didn't offer anything in the first leg anyway, so that's why it's going to be a little bit more cautious. Let them come on to us. Um, we're not going not gonna to force the issue and give them any, uh, help them out in their, their wish to counterattack us. Um, what do we want to say to this? Um, don't allow complacency. I think I like that. Maybe uh, we can't say that. All right, so let's do a calmly, cannot allow complacency. A passionate, we have faith, and we've got one stressed out looking player there. That is Perez. Uh, he looks happy now, so let's get out there and uh, see what we can do. Not the biggest crowd. I don't think there's a gate sharing uh, thing in this, which is probably for the best because we just about sold out, uh, and their fans have come dressed as empty seats today. Uh, An away goal here would be very, very helpful. It would just about kill off the tie, wouldn't it? Um, if we could manage to get one. Two minutes in, and this is a worrying highlight. Can we win this head up? We've got some decent centre-backs if they go long in Emerson and Big Willie D. We've won that with Cosio, though. Cosio is actually a, a can play at centre-back as well, so it's not surprising to see him winning a header either. Uh, and yeah, you can see they just they are just cautious, direct, and not really offering that much, are they? They're just trying to make it difficult for us. Uh, which, again, if we can get a goal and that's their game plan, they would then need to score three. They'd need to open up. Uh, and you'd, you'd kind of fancy us then we might be able to pick them off. Can we... If, there's got to be space on the left here if we can spread it, boys. Oh, Martinez with a heavy touch. If they were to get a goal, it just kind of keeps them interested, doesn't it? Oh, and they've got their goal. Three minutes in, not the start we were looking for. It was a heavy touch from Martinez, and that has ended up costing us. Uh, right there, wasn't it? Just that heavy touch. Let, gave the Hernandez there a chance to win the ball. And we just never really recovered from that, did we? Cosio got back, won the ball, and a little bit unlucky, perhaps, that the tackle fell to uh, Pizzacilio. Great name uh, for him to just... Well, I wouldn't say tap it in. That's a bit harsh on him, isn't it? Because it was quite a good finish from the edge of the area. All right, come on, boys. Let's... Uh, an away goal... A one-away goal changes everything here, doesn't it? We don't need to panic just yet. I mean, it's tied anyway. We wouldn't need to panic, even if there was no away goals. Um, not much else happening, is <laughs> it? It's, uh, yeah, it's not a classic again. All right, come on. Big Willie D over the ball. Knocks it out there for Perez. Andy is going on the overlapping run. Perez finds in. Can we get across here? We don't have tremendous height in the middle. Perez knocks it in. Back post. It's headed away. It's there for Martinez. And he makes up for his heavy touch. That cost us a goal. That's the away goal. They now need to score three. And that should be that, you would hope, anyway. You would hope we can defend uh, relatively well. Just a bit of a lofted ball in in the end, wasn't it? Not too much danger there. Just a bit of a poor header. The keeper probably would have just caught it easily. And 
through the legs of the attacker of the defender, Martinez, has eventually found the back of the net. And that will take that, won't we? There we go. That is 2-1 on aggregate. 1-1 on the night. Let's give him a demand more here. And what do they need? They need to get to three because they need to score at least two more goals, don't they? Um, to overtake us. Oh, Heather's almost there. Almost found a way through. Um, we do, of course, have the option on the bench to bring on a number 10. We started with Tostio just because th yeah, they had to score. So, um, yeah, just being a little bit more defensively sound. Here goes Fry. Oh, that's a red card. Well, that's, that helps, doesn't it? That definitely helps. See you later, mate. We'll see you in football next season, maybe, if you're good enough to get back into uh, South American football. But that is down to 10 men. We're down to playing against 10 men. We're 1-0 up. Well, actually, we're kind of at... Well, not 1-0 up. We're kind of at two goals up, aren't we, really? Because they need to overhaul our away goal now. And that should be that. I would imagine, if we're looking ahead to quarterfinals, uh, which is dangerous to do because there is still a half and a bit to go here, um, we're going to... we're gonna. But we're going to do very well. Here goes Vega. That's a cracking ball for Perez and a really good tackle as well. Um, we're going to do well to avoid a, a Brazilian or Argentinian club. Now, we showed in the Libertadores that we could we could go... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Um, so, I don't necessarily think we need to fear them, but it's definitely going to be tough, isn't it? Though, to be fair, these Uruguayan teams have been tough. Um, I think we snuck through with an assist from the referee, didn't we, against Wanderers. And... I mean, this hasn't been easy. This hasn't been easy. The home leg was really, really tight for us, difficult. Um, and, you know, we've only just got the one goal here as well. So even though we are against 10 men now. Um, this has got to be a... It's got to be a... a maybe a passionate... They're down to 10 men. Don't let your performance levels drop. Um, we might give a couple of not good enough... Uh, throw them around here as well. Uh, I did want to say just quickly too, uh, just a quick reminder, if you do have any questions uh, that you would like Chaz to ask in a press conference, uh, you can email them to me at AussieVillainYT, no, not at AussieVillainYT, AussieVillainYT at gmail.com, or you can just get me on Twitter at AussieVillain, uh, either way, and uh, or you can send an audio file if that's your preference, if you want to get your voice on the channel. Um, yeah, but any questions you might have, why is a player playing, why are we playing certain tactics, how are we going to do in an upcoming game, all those sorts of things. Um, yeah, let's just, uh, send them to me and Chaz can ask them or you can send it sound file and you can ask yourself. Uh, right, let's give this a demand more perhaps. Hasn't been the most convincing performance once again, has it? Uh, Martinez is there. Half clears it, we'll say it best. Fernandez back there for Barboza. Uh, there is a the transfer window hasn't happened yet. It is starting sort of at the end of this episode. So after the next game, I think it's August 1st that the transfer window opens. Um, so we haven't done anything yet. I have been looking around. The problem is that we have our, um, our foreign players and there's not really much by way of Peruvian players. There's a decent effort from Martinez and he's put it over the bar. There's not really much by way of Peruvian players that we can sign, to be honest. Uh, Martinez has picked up a knock. We have Govin on the bench himself is just coming back from injury. So we can make that sub. That's fine. Um, so I'm a little bit worried because Andy, his contract is up. He wants to. There was a bid for him early, uh, sort of at the first half, um, the, what's the word, like the, the start of season transfer window. There were some bids for him coming in, but they, were, they weren't they weren't very good, like £40,000 or something. So I rejected them, and he sort of wanted to leave. Um, so we agreed a fee of 100, if they, someone comes in with 180 grand, that we'd sell him, uh, which obviously was never going to happen. But he's now upset and still wants to leave, or well, wants me to sell him. So he's not signing a new contract because he's upset at that. Um, but no one's coming in to sell him, so we're in a little bit of a little bit of a dilemma there. And I've been looking around at right backs, and there's oh, Vegas nicked that. Can he go and win this for us now, once and for all? Vega, oh, he's put it past. You could see he was trying to bend it in the post there, and he's just got it a little bit wrong. Uh, let's try maybe an encourage. Why are we looking nervous, guys? We're in front here, comfortable against ten men. This shouldn't be a nerve-wracking experience for us. Um... So yeah, so that's a, li a little, oh, it's a bit of a lungy tackle, but Emerson's got away with it. Goes early for Vega, that's the stunning ball for Vega to run onto. Vega this time, no, he still can't find the back of the net. Are we going to be made to pay for these missed chances? You would hope not, wouldn't you? We're, I mean, we're effectively two goals up in the in the, in the the tie. Antia now with the corner, back, no, I was going to say back post, but didn't really have the legs to get there. 
Come on, boys. Um, yeah, so we're not necessarily going to do anything in the transfer window, I don't think. Though, I am a little bit worried. You know, I'd just like to re-sign Andy to his contract, if I'm honest. Um, same with Perez. I'm beginning to wonder if we're going to go back to wingers, if it might be worth uh, signing him onto a new contract as well. But that's it. This is the game, and we have got ourselves into the final eight of the Sudamericana I mean, we're beating who we should beat right now, which is good. I wouldn't say we were completely convincing against again. Um, we'll say don't get complacent. Yeah, I wouldn't say we were completely convincing once again, but we got the job done. Alianza Lima's gone through as well. Uh, Brazilian team, Brazilian team, us, Brazilian team, Nacional, and a Brazilian team. So if we take Lima, I think. We take Nacional, let the others knock each other out. Could we find ourselves in a semi-final? There should be a draw coming up soon as well, actually. Um, but we will be back anyway for, is this a serious injury? We're not going to give it, we'll send it to the physio. Uh, some more money in the bank. Finances are looking okay. Um, we're hovering just under the 2 million mark. So as long as we stay in this, in this tournament, um, sort of keep the money coming in. We've guaranteed ourselves a little bit more cash now getting through to the next round. But anyway, guys, wait right there. We'll be back for the, who are we playing? Oh, the Universitario Kajimadara. All right, here it is. It is the quarterfinal draw. Who do we want here? I mean, really, as I said, Alianza Lima and Nacional. If we can avoid Brazilian... It's only, oh, there's only one Argentinian club left in it. So if we can avoid avoid Brazil and Argentinian clubs, as long as we can, that would be good, wouldn't it? Um, ideally, I think we'd like to play the second leg at home. But, you know, I'd take a first leg at home and avoid a Brazilian team. Uh, it's ATM. I don't know who ATM is. We'll have a look at the logo in a second here and see if we can... Figure it out, but it is going to be a trip to Brazil. We're going back to Brazil. Now, we did okay against Sao Paulo. So, nothing necessarily to fear from that. Um, uh, yeah, Chaz Hogan, Australian journalist. Now, listen, mate. You've been drawn against Atletico Mineiro in the Copa Sudamericana uh, quarterfinal. What are your chances of progression? Right, Atletico Mineiro, that's who it is, is it? Right, perfect. Uh, you have to forgive me, I'm still sort of digesting the news here myself. Um, look, they're a big team, aren't they? They're a big club, they're a strong club, they're a Brazilian club. Um, so it's going to be tough for us, but uh, like any opposition, we'll go out there and we'll believe we can win. Uh, yeah, another one from me, mate. Now, with the transfer window about to open, uh, and the likes of Andia and Perez in the final months of their contract, and then you have Salinas and Emerson attracting interest from bigger clubs, do you foresee a busy window, mate? Look, I hope not, uh, to be honest. Uh, I'm happy with the squad we have. I think it's a good, a strong squad. We've got depth and uh, we can play in a variety of ways. Uh, and I hope that the players, uh, especially the ones that you mentioned, um, will see that uh, that we're going somewhere, that we, what we're building here, and that they'll want to be a part of that. So, no, I'm hoping we'll have a very, a very quiet transfer window. Yeah, I may mean, finally follow up from me if I can. Uh, now, your own contract is set to expire at the end of the season. Uh, so how do you expect players to show commitment to the club when you yourself uh, are lacking at such commitment? Yeah, look, mate, it's my intention to stay here as long as the club is moving in the right direction. Uh, and the right direction, of course, means qualifying for the Libertadores. Um, and it's my full intention to make sure we're doing that. So I see no reason why I won't be here next year, and I hope the players feel the same way. So as you just heard, it is Atletico Monero. That's what the ATM stands for. And we have a quick look at them here. They're tenth in the in the Libertadores. The Libertadores. What's it called? The uh, Brazilian Championship this year. I mean, that's mid table, isn't it? Uh, do we have anything to fear from them? I mean, they're a Brazilian team. They're going to be good, aren't they? But I mean, that's I mean, that's literally their definition of mid table, isn't it? They're in tenth. Um, Goal difference is not the best. Where's Sao Paulo? Now, we we gave Sao Paulo two really good games, and Sao Paulo is considerably higher up the league than them. So I don't necessarily... Although they've played extra games, so I don't necessarily know that we have to fear them. Um, but it's not going to be easy, is it? You can see there, we've got the games coming up uh, very shortly. We'll probably make that next episode, actually. That'll probably be tomorrow. We'll come back and do home and away, both Atletico and Monero. Um, now, let's have a quick look at where we stand here, coming in to... So just quickly scroll back to the match preview screen because uh, we're playing Atletico, uh, Universitad uh, Tecnica di Carmajaca. Um, we have a, not a great record against them, but since we've come in, I, we've, we've done okay against them. Quick look at training because I always forget to show you guys. You can see we're favorites for the game as well. Um, as tends to be the case, not much time to do any training work. So that's where we are. Uh, let's go and have a quick look at the team that we are sending out um, to face this team. Now, as I did mention quickly in the press conference there, we do have 
uh, some interest. Now, the Emerson interest, it was from an MLS club. I think it was NY New York City FC. It kind of comes and goes. So I'm hoping that Emerson will be left alone. Salinas, I'm really concerned about. There's mounting interest in him now. Um, so that's not looking good. Perez's contract is up. Uh, we made a promise we wouldn't sell him when I was considering him selling him at the start of the year. I don't know if he's going to sign a new contract. And the same sort of situation with Andy. Although Andy has no interest in him. So I'm hoping that'll clear itself up or we'll be able to offer him a new contract. Um... And Vasco Fry as well, but I don't think that's just a loan. I don't think that's a serious issue uh, for us. But anyway, this is the team that we are sending out. You can see we're going a little bit more attacking for this one. Salinas in goal, Cosio Diaz, uh, Emerson, and Andy. Diaz is playing because he wanted we, he wanted football, so we've promised him football. Uh, so that's why he has come in at the expense of Zubiata. Um, it's Liate and Goivin uh, gets to start this time around. Perez, uh, Blasido, and Fry are uh, the middle three with Vega up front. And we do have Galindo back on the bench for this one. So they're looking a little bit defensive there, aren't they? Which is why, that's kind of how we expected them to play, which is why we put in a number 10 for this one. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not going to be the easiest game, but I, I kind of, it's one of those games where I feel like we should be winning. Um, what do I want to say to this? Go out there, let's keep our run going. All right, let's go with that. Let's go some calm. Let's go some passionate. We have faith. Um, yeah, and see how we do. Apparently, it's uh, Fernando Perez's 200th game uh, for the club, which is quite an achievement, actually. Uh, so hopefully, he will uh, he'll mark that uh, appropriately with a nice, another nice hat trick. Would be good, wouldn't it? Uh, after his hat trick in the last league game, of course. Uh, I'm hoping we'll be a little bit more fluid in attack. Let's say after the last game, we have struggled for goals against Uruguayan opposition, haven't we? Um, yeah. So let's hope. Let's hope. But the way they're setting up, it may not be the easiest game for us. They're a passing team. Um, so we're sort of, uh, we're playing, uh, sort of counter pressing, trying to win the ball back, stop them from passing. Um, but yeah, we'll just kind of see how this goes, uh, for now. As I said in the transfer window, I'm not necessarily expecting to do anything. If something comes up, then, then we'll look to do that. Uh, left back, I, I still think I'd like to get a more attacking, uh, like a crossing dribbling left back in if we could. Um, but that player as a as a Peruvian just doesn't exist uh, that's available to us. So unlikely anything's going to happen there. Um, Andy, I would like to try and tie down. Here's Placido. We've got a little bit of score. He's lost out there. And are we going to find ourselves on the back of a counter-attack here? Come on, boys. Can we get to that? We can't get to that. Can we get a block in? There's men pouring forward. Oh, what are we doing, boys? Let's go attacking and... Oh, we look so good against uh, Sporting Galaceo with our six goals. And we've looked absolutely horrid this episode. Um, just never got back, did we, from that uh, from giving away the ball. And so, and outside our own penalty box as well. It looked as though we might just be able to nick a goal ourselves. Um, and it's all gone a little bit wrong, hasn't it? It's all gone a little bit wrong. Oh, that's a shame. All right, come on, boys. What can we do for the second half here? They haven't offered really anything, have they? Um, let's be aggressive. Where's your passion, boys? Let's get some... Uh, you can do it. And you can do it for Perez. We don't want to tell them they're rubbish twice. Um, do we want to change anything? I don't necessarily think that we do. Uh, let's maybe just lower the tempo a little bit. Um... We'll look to exploit the flanks, perhaps. Especially given that they have uh, sort of the two-man block in midfield as well. That might be a, a good thing for us to do. Uh, we'll look to stop them passing up from the back. We'll go again. Um, in terms of changes, we don't really have... I mean, we have Galindo on the bench. Now, our front four or front our front three, not really Blasido, they can sort of rotate around between striking and wingers. Um, it's a decent ball to the back post there, but Fry couldn't... He's not really a header of the ball, is he? Gets the decent ball back in as they haven't picked up Andy and he's missed it. Oh, come on, boys. Come on. Let's give... All right. Well, this is looking a little bit better, though, isn't it? This is a second highlight for us now. Oh, Liate's there, and again, it's over the bar. Come on. But this is looking... up. Oh, I hit calm down, I think, there. Didn't mean to hit that. Um... We are looking a little bit better, though, this half, aren't we? I'm wondering if we take Vega off. If I'm honest, here he is. He heard me. He's got the good ball in, and Amerson taps it in. There it is. Second goal of the year for Amerson. Vega with the assist. He can stay on after all. And that is... We've been a lot better, haven't we? We've had a lot more of the game this second half, and I think it's just rewards. A good little finish from the set. Cracking ball in from Vega, too, wasn't it? Uh, let's give it a demand more now. Let's keep that going, please. And let's go and win this game. 
Uh, I'm wondering, I'm wondering, I'm wondering about Perez. He's not celebrated his 200th game in the style we would have hoped, has he? Let's bring Galindo on. I'm pretty sure he can play right wing. Um, I mean, he's going to play right wing. <laughs> so you have to get used to it, mate. Um, there we go. Anything else we want to do? Lucido hasn't had his best game in there. Let's bring on our youngster again. He did really, really well last time. Albeit in a game that was already won. Um, so perhaps that's a little bit misleading. But you know, it helps him grow. Helps him improve as a player. And like I keep saying, if we are going to stay uh, beyond this season, if we are going to keep challenging for the Libertadores, we need our youngsters that are coming through. Because uh, they're Peruvian players. They need to develop into really, really good players for us. We've absolutely dominated this second half. And if we don't win this game, it's going to be a crime against football. Um, we'll give it a push forward here when we can in a second. Maybe give it another calm down. That worked last time. Are we going to get the chance? I don't think we're going to get another shout out. All right, Goyven, come on, mate. What have you got for us? Liate. Oh, giving that away again. Are we going to get punished for two stupid errors? Just simple, simple passing errors. Come on. Oh, don't do this to us. Don't do this to us. Away from Cossio. It's still there, though. Let's get in front of the shot. We've done well there. Don't let the cross come in. Cossio, he's won the ball cleanly. Excellent stuff. Long old highlight now. Oh, and it's going to continue. That's been cleared into touch for a sport boys throw it line in and line out, I should say. And that is going to be the game. Well, that's a little, especially at home. I cannot believe we didn't win that game. But that's really, really disappointing. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm going to say it's not not good enough, but really it was maybe a little bit unlucky. We made really only made two mistakes, but we got punished for one of them. Just a, a simple, wasn't it? Just a little giveaway on the edge of our own area, and cost us two points in the end. Anyway, uh, we still have games in hand, although we're six points off top now with two games in hand. So we do need to win them all. Uh, if we were to find ourselves back top. I think we've got to play Sport Harachayo, don't we? Oh, no, we already played them. We drew them. Um, so it's out of our hands, effectively. But anyway, guys, that's it for today. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. Uh, make sure that you subscribe and ring the bell to know when I upload new episodes. We will be back tomorrow for, as I said, the Atletico uh, Monero doubleheader, uh, home and away. We go away from home first. If we can get some away goals there, you just never know what could happen. Um... Yeah, but so that's all for tomorrow to look forward to. Until then, guys, we've got th four away games in a row coming up now. That is a little bit ridiculous. We only have one more home game left in the league. How does that work? We've, we're away from home the rest of the league season, apart from the one game. That is outrageous. So we've we've actually put ourselves in quite the hole here, haven't we? We did just have five home games in a row in the league, so I can't really complain, can I? Um, but we're paying the price back for that now. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. I'll see you tomorrow. I've been Aussie Bill, and here are our goals of the month uh, for July. Take care.